Is that okay? Well, you need to drink a lot of water now. Yeah, I can understand. I can understand. Right? Okay, if I was sitting here, alright? You see, when they ask you this question, alright? What are, what are the most important things you are looking for in this job? It can be about you, it can be about the company. Try and match both. Is that okay? How? Alright? So, uh, like what Lucia said, I said, uh, I, I chose Qatar Airways because Qatar is one of the most uh, prestigious airline companies in the world. And they travel to almost all countries around the world. Okay? Uh, when I say this, I chose Qatar Airways because firstly, I, you can say, you see, when you say I like traveling, it is very selfish. Alright? Okay? But that's okay. You can say, I like traveling and when I serve in Qatar Airways, I not only can can, you know, serve and travel, but I also get to learn other people, their language and their culture. Is that okay? Alright? So when I learn other people, their language and their culture, I believe I can serve Qatar Airways better. Can all of you learn that? Alright? Because all of us are selfish. You might remember your answer to one of the businesses showed your selfishness. That's not wrong. Alright? All of us are selfish. We want a high salary, we want a better lifestyle, we want a, a prestigious uh, airline company, we want to travel around the world. That's not wrong. But how can all this give back to that airlines? Can you all see the point now? Is that okay? So you say, I, 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 I like traveling and that's why my dream is to be an airline cabin crew. I chose Qatar Airways because Qatar Airways travels to almost all destinations, all countries in the world. Why I chose Qatar Airways is because, firstly, I want to know people. I want to learn people's language. I want to learn their culture. So by serving in Qatar Airways by, and by going through that learning process, I believe I can serve Qatar Airways better. Is that clear enough? Can you understand? If you can show that you are selfish, no problem. Everybody is selfish. Trust me. Alright? If the college is not going to pay me, I don't think I will be here teaching. Right? Yeah? But there must be a bigger reason. A bigger reason is how can I give back? The college pays me, how can I give back? The uh, airline company of Qatar Airways pays you, gives you a job, pays you. What can you give back to them? Anyone can understand now? <clears throat> Once you can answer like that, <clears throat> they will like you. They will like you. Is that okay? So always think like that. Always think like that. Okay, um, maybe we have time for one more person. One more person. Who do you think should go here? Leila, is there? No one you think Leila should go? If not you, mates, uh, somebody here. Well, everybody don't look at me, you <laughs>
this up and then we'll continue next week. Alright, I want you all to become good in your interviewing skills. Is that okay? So all of you must try. All of you must make that uh, attempt to, 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 to do your work. Alright? Okay, and is that this question you like? Weakness. Oh, really? Okay, all right. Let's learn from Anissa. What are <coughs> what are your weaknesses? What are your weaknesses? Okay. Okay. Uh, you can start now, Anissa. Uh, thank you so far. You have been doing a good job. What are your weaknesses? So, only one weakness. You're scared to talk in front of people. Is that what you say? Yeah? Okay, uh, can we clap for her? Can, can I tell you the truth? Talking in front of people, if it is your personal friend, you know, all of you are comfortable, right? All of you are comfortable talking to your friend. Yes or no? Yes, all right, but talking in front of people. What does an airline cabin crew do? Nowadays, I think they have got it on video. Uh, it is more online, uh, the safety uh, regulations and all, right? But some airlines, they still do personal. Yes or no? Still, Korean Air, they do personal or they just... Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please watch the video on the safety precautions we have in this now. Do they see that? And then the video comes, or is it people in front? Video. Video, Korean Airlines. AirAsia? It's still physical. Jetstar Asia? Physical. Vietjet Air? Physical. That means you have to stand in front. This is your safety pump. Pull it. <laughs> you understand? Right? You know, uh, you are just demonstrating, but that is also standing in front of people. Is that easy to do? Is that easy to do? No, it's not. Especially if you've got not less as passengers in that aeroplane. Because at one point of time, we were like that, but I and my friends. We would purposely sit there, the airline cabin crew comes, this is your safety belt, she stands there, we all Then you know what life is. Can you understand now? That can be very difficult. You, I don't know, in your plane, you will have some naughty fellas. Like gay, uh, not gay, gay, sorry, gay, can I say that? You're not naughty. Maybe, who is naughty here, gay, gay? Who is naughty in this car? is naughty. Oh, Rome. Rome. Ah, I suspect it. I suspect it. It's wrong. I, I knew it. All right. So, hey, and uh, nowadays I think they have that recorded. <clears throat> but those days we still had somebody with the mic. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll show you the safety precautions now. Please watch our airline cabin crew who is nearest to you. 
that is talking in front of people. Can you understand? That is difficult. I know everybody to talk in front of a group of people is going to be a challenge. It's not only your weakness, Anissa. Every, <coughs> everybody has it. I have it too. Can you understand? But how did I overcome that? Doing over and over and over. Can you understand that? You only overcome your shyness in front of people, JJ, by doing it over and over. Then you will Is that okay? That's why I want you to start. So all of you must take that challenge. Leila can understand now? It's not easy. I still remember my first public speaking. I was already in college, just like you all. I had to do a presentation, just, I think, five to six minutes. When I went in front, suddenly, I cannot breathe. Suddenly, I don't know if this is me. Suddenly, I look at all my friends and my lecturer there, I cannot see them already. Suddenly, the my head was spinning. I nearly collapsed. I knew it's not easy. But you have to keep doing over and over. Then only you can handle that. Is that okay now? Can all of you understand? Alright? Because we are going to talk in a language which is not our mother tongue. Alright? If I call you here and speak in Korean, speak in Tamil, speak in Chinese, I think all of you will be quiet.